Hello and welcome to my RS485 uh, investigations. Um, basically, uh, I just wanted to prove to myself that uh, I communicate using the RS485 protocol. Now, um, here are two RS485 transceivers. Um, there's the um, receive enable, the um, drive enable things and the same over here so basically how I've got it is um, ordinarily uh, with an RS485 link um, you would use the D and R as the data in and out pins and uh, toggle the drive enable and receive enable using um, uh, the mic controller so that effectively means there are three lines uh, one to control these two and one to control one for each of these um, however by using by toggling the drive enable um, it's possible to cut it down to two pins because we've eliminated the need for the need for this uh, driver here. Um, so it's, the chip is uh, a is always high unless we enable the driver to pull the drive line down. In which case it goes low. Um, that means we're only using two pins. Um, now, because this is the uh, transmit, um, I've tied the uh, receive enable high because uh, it's active low um, and we're not using the uh, receiver at all. I've just uh, pulled that down to ground uh, to be out of the way. So when this is this is high that's low when uh, the switch is activated um, it toggles it enables the driver uh, because the driver is enabled when it's high and it's normally pulled low uh, unless the switch is on um, and when we send it, when we enable the driver we're saying the data because it's being pulled low is a zero so the a line goes to zero um, and then and correspondingly the b line will go to to one because of the uh, in, inverted uh, signal um, on the receiver side of things uh, when this is high um, what we're doing is we're tying the receive enable low uh, so it's always in receive mode and we're just uh, sticking a light emitting diode onto the receive pin uh, so that it lights up when A is high. Um, the data line I pulled low because we're not actually use, using it because uh, the data enable is also being pulled low. So um, there is nothing actually happening there. So when A is high, the light, the LED lights, because uh, the receive will be passing through A1. When this, uh, the switch is pushed, this line goes low, A goes low, so the LED extinguishes. Now, I hope that all makes sense. Uh, here and here are just a couple of uh, biasing resistors to, um, to to default the line as high and default the line as low. So I've breadboarded up. I move this out of the way. Move my breadboard in place. I've breadboarded up the circuit. Um, 
and uh, by by switching the this 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 will be acting as a switch to toggle the uh, the drive enable pin that's pin three on that's the driver chip that's the receiver chip that's the one that led's coming off and this is the one which is driving the uh, the line and uh, the line is uh, it uses these uh, two resistors here to mimic the line um, the, 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 the 47 ohms is purely to to replicate um, line losses and things like that so pin 3 which uh, don't know if you can probably see it or not if I do that pin 3 is coupled to this resistor here because um, in the circuit diagram it's it's pulled low through a 10k resistor and by uh, shorting to there um, that will be to enable the driver so the, the lid will extinguish um, I'll power it up I shall power it up um, so that you can see it working Okay, um, as you can see I've powered it up and if I take the, um, the wire here and touch the resistor there that effectively closes the switch and the light goes out just as I imagined it would if I disconnect it lights up if I connect wires that's better go okay, so yes it does does seem to work um, however um, I'm thinking about it there are two chips I only want one chip um, so I need to condense uh, the circuit into one chip um, and how I've done that is uh, I have a, another circuit diagram here how I've done that is uh, basically um, by Tying the receive enable low, so it's always in receive mode. Um, obviously, moving the lead to to uh, the receive pin, and the data pin is still tied to ground, and the drive enable pin is still the switch. So, when the drive enable activates, it pulls the A line low and because the internal wiring of the um, transceiver chip is such that the drive line is coupled to the receive line it'll detect that A has been pulled low and the LED will extinguish um, and because the receive is being receive is uh, being uh, constantly monitored because the receiver enable is pulled low uh, because it's active low um, it should it should all work within one chip um, let's see if I can and to do that I've made up another circuit um, I shall power it on one second I 
that's it powered on now um, so again I've got the uh, little uh, wire here to pull the LED turn it off by turning the drive enable on the light go the LED goes off so that's, that, that, that seems to be working so then I was thinking, hmm, now how do I know that it isn't actually just shorting out all the power? Um, by, for instance, doing that, the behavior is the same. Um, now to verify that, what I've done is I've hooked up another LED, a green one here, um, which basically uh, is just running off the power line. So if I short this line straight to ground it'll extinguish because all the power is then going to the uh, I can't see what I'm doing I'm get, get, getting my fingers in the way of the camera But if it uh, shorts on the before the the resistor, it doesn't because uh, the resistor is limiting the amount of current that gets drawn. So the chip still, chip is still being powered, and the green LED is still lit. So that bit kind of proves that as well. Now what I've done is I've hooked my original. Uh, two chip uh, system uh, tied the uh, taking the RS485 uh, lead over to the single chip system and the power as well so as you can see the LED for uh, the single chip is on the LED for the multi chip is on and if I toggle the um, if I toggle the uh, single chip Both LEDs go out and the uh, green LED stays on. I don't know if you can see the green LED. There we go. And if I do the same on this one, uh, which one was it? It was this one, wasn't it? this one here there we go so that effectively replicates the communication between two separate nodes this one with the two chips one for one receive one transmit this is the single chip um, both transmit and as you can see they're both it doesn't pull the doesn't pull the voltage down so the drivers are actually working quite satisfactorily okay so now the next stage will be to couple these up to microcontrollers so that they can actually do uh, data communication between between the uh, the two the well the, the microcontrollers to uh, control things okay well thank you for watching it's taken me a long time to do my uh, RS485 experiments but uh, as you can see everything is working as it's supposed to. Thank you very much, bye.